Hey Cancer, what's up? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. Hope you guys are doing well. We're going to see what's going on for you in love. This is for Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It's general. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Check out your Moon, your Rising, and your Venus sign. Um, also, bonus extended readings are up on Vimeo from March 1st through the 10th. Um, how does your person feel? See what's really going on in their emotions. What are they not saying? How do they truly want to move forward, okay? Um, check out my Etsy shop. Use a promo code SOUL10 to get 10% off my personal readings to my Oracle decks to my spiritual jewelry, okay? Also, ask the universe. I have three questions. Um, well, if you have three questions, go ahead and ask them at the end of your reading. I will pull three cards from the Ask the Universe deck, okay? So think of three yes or no questions, okay? Um, this particular deck is for, it's for everyone, okay? You don't have to know tarot or anything like that. You just pull a card, okay? So um, this is Ask the Universe. This Oracle deck is on my Etsy shop, okay? All right, let's jump right in. I'm going to start off with the Oracle of the Mermaids, okay? <laughs> All right, let's see what's going on with my Cancer, and then I'm going to look at the past, the present, and the current energy surrounding you in love, okay, Cancer? Now, if this resonates, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate it greatly. I love to connect with you guys on Facebook, Instagram, all that, so my details are in the description box. All right, what else do we need to know? What's going on with Cancer? Uh, we have resistance. Uh, receptivity okay receptivity there you go allow yourself to receive allow yourself to give okay so maybe you guys are receiving something okay i feel like some of you guys were dealing with someone who had some difficult times in um or difficulty in receiving and giving love okay so spirit is saying um you are ready allow yourself allow yourself to receive allow yourself to give okay We have water flight, okay? It says heaviness, heaviness lifts, burdens are cast away, weightlessness. Wow, so this is something that it's telling me that if you guys have gone through a very challenging um, time, um, burdens where things were just very heavy, you had a lot on your plate, um, it's telling me that those burdens are going to be lifted, okay? Things, things are going to feel lifeless again. It's going to feel... Like things aren't just weighing you down anymore. So whether you've gone through a lot of emotional challenges and you felt like just not yourself, there's there's weight being lifted off your shoulders, okay? Let's see what else we need to know. We have energy field adjustment, okay? Wow, so it says aura cleansing and health. So right now you guys are focusing on, you know, really just making sure you're living a balanced life. Maybe you guys do some energy work, cleansing your aura. Maybe you do Reiki. Oh, I want to suggest you guys, you guys, you need to check out Remote Reiki ASMR. Um, one of my favorite YouTubers, um, she is... A practitioner but she does she has an online channel and she is um her name is luna no loon innate okay and i listen to her every night she does a lot of um yeah asmr but she is amazing you guys have to check her out and so this is really about you know making sure that your energy like if you're depleted if you're feeling like lifeless if you don't feel yourself some of you guys you may have to like cleanse your energy okay and it's not just um you know it may help to do you know burn sage and stuff like that but i'm getting like you guys have to maybe, maybe try different things okay because there's definitely energy uh, a need for adjustments okay in your energy field maybe you guys are taking on too many other people's energy um certainly with whatever's going on everything that's going on in the world right there's a lot of stress all that is being absorbed and so um yeah be sure to cleanse your energy guys all right let's see what is going on? So we're going to look at the past, the present, and the future. Uh, I'm going to do things a little bit different. This is not my typical Celtic cross. But I felt the need to kind of change things around, okay? So if this hits home, I appreciate you. If you go ahead and like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. All right, let's see. What's going on? What happened in the past? Let's look a bit at the past. And we're going to clarify everything, okay? What's the past energy here? Okay. Some of you guys are dealing with a fire sign. We got the king of wands here. 
give me some more what happened with this with this fire sign maybe you had a very passionate connection with someone in the past damn the tower cancer what happened so what i'm seeing is that whoever this person is cancer i feel like there could have been a lot of um challenges right i'm getting you could have gone through a tower moment with this person got the king of wands energy i feel like your person could have been avoiding telling you something here and with that tower it could have brought a lot of um chaos a lot of drama i'm feeling something here could have came out a secret that you didn't know about okay regarding this king of wands okay so let's see what else we need to know scorpion energy as well so you guys can be done with the scorpio but it looks like something came out regarding a past person a past situation maybe someone you reconcile with or some of you guys you found out that they reconciled with someone else the six of cups is here yeah and there was a decision that was made okay the two of swords is here Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So I do feel in the past, it was a decision that you had to perhaps make about a past person or soulmate or someone that you had very strong feelings for. Because I do feel with this tower, something unexpected came and it was, um, it made you shift your energy. I'm getting, maybe you guys had a, a blowout or maybe there's some kind of argument, but I'm seeing that it looks like you're avoiding this person or they're avoiding you. Some of you guys that were avoiding telling you something, okay? And I really feel like you guys decided to make a decision to perhaps um, let this go or, or walk away, okay? There's something here that happened very, very unexpectedly. So let's see what the current energy is, okay? Maybe you guys um, recently in the past reconciled with something after a tower moment okay for some of you guys i'm getting it could have happened already with the tower in the verse and you guys have reconciled with this person after something here came out that was very groundbreaking shocking okay we do got the queen of swords coming out so you guys may be really trying to find out the truth of a situation get clarity there could be a lot of communication between you and your person it could be a leo here as well all right let's get some more messages we have the six of wands in reverse so it looks like someone is having some doubts, okay, or feel like something here wasn't victorious, okay? And I do see we've got the Empress here. So, Cancer, there are two people here. Now, there are two feminine energies. You could be in a same-sex relationship, or for a majority of you guys, I feel like with the Queen of Swords, you guys are trying to find the truth as to why something was not able to move forward with you and your person, because there could have been another situation that they were nurturing or giving to, okay? There could have been another female in the environment, okay? And I do feel some of you guys... um. You may have found out about that and you may be finding out truth or wanting truth about it because something here was not able to really manifest or um, you weren't able to achieve something. Yeah, we do have someone who may have had options here with the Seven of Cups and the Ace of Swords. So the Ace of Swords is a breakthrough. It's clarity. It's wanting to know what really happened, right? Okay, the Seven of Cups is telling me that you guys want to know where you stand with this person. You want to know everything. I do feel like your person had options here. They were perhaps playing the field, okay? And with that strength card, I'm getting that some of you guys, um, you know, you've been very strong through this. And I'm getting that you guys are, you're at a point where you're almost kind of losing hope. You're kind of holding back right now, okay? And I do feel it's because this person has really let you down. But there's some kind of breakthrough coming through. I do feel like you guys in a current moment, there's some information coming your way. Now let's look at how this is going to play out in the future, please. What's the future energy here? So someone wants to get out of the cold here with you, Cancer. We got the Five of Pentacles in reverse, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There's someone who misses you a great deal. But I'm getting that someone is, is perhaps removing themselves from the situation because there's been too much conflict. There's been lies. I feel some of you guys, Cancer, you can't trust this person. And so you're kind of distancing yourself. You're kind of like, you know what? I don't need you to come back and messing with my, my energy feel, right? My, you know, I don't need you messing up my vibes right now. That's what I'm seeing here, okay? I'm getting, yeah, this situation became very burdensome, right? We got the uh, water energy, something here, very emotional cancer, right? I'm getting you guys, the water energy, you guys carry a lot of, um, well, you have a lot of feelings and emotions. And I'm getting those um, emotions could have really burdened you in this connection because I'm getting, you could have cared a lot about this person and whatever they did, I feel like you have, um, you're in conflict with it about like you're, you're in conflict here and i'm getting with that tower i feel like this person has really left you with no choice and you guys are perhaps moving away from this person okay i'm getting maybe disconnecting from them after finding some truth 
Okay, so let's see the five of swords here. Some of you guys, yeah, you don't trust this person. There's definitely may have been some lies or trickery going on. You feel defeated, okay? And we got the four pentacles. So someone wants to hold on to you, Cancer. Um, but I'm also getting the energy of a blocked person or someone is blocking the other person out or guarding. So take it how it resonates. Someone is definitely, yeah, someone is definitely putting up their guards. There's some internal challenges or conflicts um, about the situation. That I'm feeling someone is not really so quick to let the other person in okay so cancer this could be your energy let's get one more card yeah i'm feeling someone is unsure if they can have this happy home happy family again there's a lot of resistance there's a lot of um doubts about this uh situation here so i'm gonna get some clarity if this is your story go ahead like share comments and subscribe and um check out the bonus reading up on vimeo how does your person feel okay all right, clear messages for my cancers out there. All right, let's see. Um, the King of Wands, the Tower, the Two of Swords, and the Six of Cups. What is going on here in the past? So this person definitely held back a lot. Some of you guys are dealing perhaps with an air sign of someone who was not honest with you, right? You you wanted honesty and this person did, did not give you honesty, okay? And that could have caused this tower. That could have, could have caused, um, I'm feeling something here was hidden and it came to light, okay? Regarding the situation, I feel like it really shook things up for you and this person because they were, I'm getting some of you guys that were just very deceptive, okay? Um, it could have been regarding a past situation that either you or this person gone through. What is this about? Um, Nine of Pentacles. If someone had another relationship that they perhaps were either working on or they hadn't really closed out, okay? So then you guys, you may have found out this person perhaps went to another situation or past person. Why is it two of swords here? There's a decision. Oh, the tower came out again. Damn, Cancer. Tower came out twice in your past energy. What the hell was going on in the past with this person? Can y'all let me know? Because you guys got two towers. I mean, big, big chaos, destruction, drama here. Whoever you're dealing with, I mean, I do feel a lot of you guys, this is someone you had a very strong feelings for with the Six of Cups here. And that's why I think some of you guys are making a decision, okay, to perhaps drop this. Let this go. Let's see what the current energy is. We got the Queen of Swords and the Strength card. Page of Swords. Yeah, some of you guys, you've been digging for the truth. Some of you guys, you've been, um, if this is like your person's energy, okay, I I'm feeling this is someone who is watching the other person, but also investigating, trying to find out what really happened, getting to the bottom of something here. I think it's, I'm thinking, Cancer, you are really, really trying to find out what's the truth and what's the lie. You're trying to decipher if you can trust this person, Ten of Cups in verse, because they've really disappointed you. There's a lot of emotional, um, burden, sadness, feeling emotionally drained by the situation. All you guys want is the truth. Something here, this person definitely failed you. The Six of Wands in verse, something here was a failure because this person didn't reciprocate. This person could have been giving to another person, another situation, investing in other areas, okay, other people. And the Ace of Swords, you just wanted clarity. You want to know where you stood because you felt this person not... I'm getting some of you guys that were missing in action or they just were not invested. They, they did not show up when they needed to. And the Seven of Cups, there was just a lot of confusion. Yeah, the Four. You, this person was very reckless. I'm getting messy. Okay, I'm getting... They didn't really clean up their acts. Some of you guys, you didn't even have to go digging for information. Something may have just fell in your lap, literally. And with the tower, I'm getting your person. They could have had some loose ends here. Okay, and I'm getting... That's how you found out about something with that tower. And I feel with the fool, there's definitely some trust issues right now. And you being able to move forward and trust this person. Believing what they said. If you guys are communicating... Some of you guys, you will be communicating with this person. Or you're just finding out information with the Page of Swords. It could be something you're finding out online on social media or through another woman. I'm just what I'm feeling in particular. Another feminine energy of someone may come towards you and say something that may give give more information about what really happened. But your person was definitely very foolish. They didn't really think about the consequences of their actions here. They didn't tell you everything, Cancer. Now, what's the outcome? Your person missing you, getting trying to get out of the code here. They're feeling absent from your life. They're feeling abandoned, neglected by you. Yeah, look at that. They miss your love. King of Cups is here. 
Cancer, your person's missing your love because all they're thinking about is you, the love that you gave them, and they, they can't get that love from anywhere else. Why is the five of swords? Someone feels defeated. Yeah, looks like someone's taking a break. Someone's like, leave me alone. I need time. I need space. I need to heal. I want to isolate myself. <laughs> I need to adjust my energy and I don't need you to be in it, okay? All right, let's see. Uh, the four of pentacles. Someone's holding back. Yeah, whoever you're dealing with, um, Cancer, okay? Um, this King of Swords and Verse is telling me, you know, your person was very, I'm getting cold, closed off. I think your person's still trying to hold on to this, okay? But they were the ones who was blocking you out. They were the ones who was very, um, not letting you in, okay? They may have had some, they may have had a lot of stuff in their closet. I'm getting like skeletons here and they didn't tell you everything, okay? And I, I'm seeing that they're still holding on to you. Why is the King of Swords reverse? And they're still not telling you something here. The lovers. They're trying to hold on to the idea that you guys can perhaps come back together. Why is the Ten of Cups still in reverse? And yeah, someone is doubting if you guys... So this could be you can't... So maybe you're doubting if this can really work now. The Three of Pentacles is telling me with the Ten of Cups in reverse. Someone is definitely wanting to get on the same page. But the other person feels like it's just not going to make me happy. That's not really what I want. Like I, I, someone is having some doubts about it, but we do have a decision that your person or someone wants to make here coming into the moment in the future. Okay. The lovers about if this is something that still is worth to work on or not with, even with all the challenges and the conflicts with the five of wands, someone still wants to collaborate with you, but it looks like someone is taking a break with that four of swords. Yeah. Someone feels like they missed an opportunity cancer. They feel like they've missed an opportunity. They're not happy. Ten of Cups in reverse. They missed your love. Five of Pentacles in reverse. They feel left out in the cold by you. And they want to get back on the same page. Okay? And they may even... But the thing is, is that they're not telling you everything. They're not speaking their truth. Right? They're coming back. They want to hold on to you. Uh, maybe want to get back in your life. But they're not telling you everything. So, Cancer, you go ahead and question them. Okay? <laughs> you find out what you need to find out. Okay? That Page of Swords, that Queen of Swords energy, the Ace of Swords in the current moment. You guys... Continue to do some digging, okay? Because this person is going to come back and they ain't going to tell you everything. I'm just letting you know. All right. Cross watchers. Hey, guys. You know I love y'all too. But, you know, this is Cancer's reading. <laughs> All right. I'm going to ask the universe three questions. So think of your three questions, Cancer. Um, again, this, uh, this Oracle deck is on my Etsy shop. No tarot knowledge needed. Just use the promo code SOUL10. You get 10% off, okay? All right. Let's get into your, your uh, Ask the Universe. So, Cancer, what is your question? Ooh, it has to be a yes or no question, okay? Um, it says, look to your ancestors for answers. Came out, okay? I don't know what that was about. I just, I know you guys weren't ready. Let's just do it again, okay? All right, Cancer, what is your first question? Ask the universe your first question. Yes or no, please, okay? Yes or no questions only. It says, the outlook does not look good. The outlook does not look good. It does not, okay? So, that is your first answer, what is your second question, Cancer? What is your second question, Cancer? Yes, C si and Espanol, okay? Looks like that is a yes, Cancer. All right. Cancer, ask your third question. What is your third question for the universe? Oops, okay. 99% positive, okay? 99% positive. So, Cancer, that is what I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you like this um, messy spread, okay? It's kind of like just the past, the present, and the future. Um, so put PPF in a comment if you enjoy it. Otherwise, put Celtic, Celtic Cross, however you want to spell it. Um, <laughs> put it in the comments. Let me know if you prefer that spread, okay? That's what I typically do on my channel. Um, or you just don't have to tell me at all. But I, I would really love to hear your feedback. I right, cancer enjoy the rest of your weekend take care and stay safe